explain to me why your pregnant patient will experience oxygen desaturation quicker than the same exact person in a non-pregnant state. I'm assuming that it has something to do with the fetus and the uterus taking up more space in the abdomen than usual, but I don't really know the details. Yes, but let's get more scientific. This is a graphical representation of what our lung volumes look like right here. So see these little up and down, up and down, up and downs? That is normal tidal volume breathing. That is your normal in it and out throughout the day. When we blow out all the way from the bottom of our normal tidal volume breathing, that is our expiratory reserve volume. Below that comes our residual volume. That is air that you and I are not able on our own to blow out of the lungs, right? You add those two together, that is called your functional residual capacity. This is our reserves for oxygen, for when we are not breathing. So when we take our patient, we induce anesthesia, we put them to sleep, we knock them unconscious, they're no longer breathing on their own. What is left over here in their FRC is the leftover oxygen that's available to circulate through their bloodstream while we are waiting to ventilate them manually and or get a breathing tube in place. So in the case of pregnant patients, we have not only the fetus and the uterus, but also the placenta, amniotic fluid, and so on that's causing a major shift in what's normally in the abdominal cavity. It causes their diaphragm to shift cephalad up towards their head and reduces their functional residual capacity. They literally have less oxygen in the tank to circulate once they are lying supine, especially. It is extremely important that for all of our patients, we give them excellent pre-oxygenation to fill up whatever air is left in their lungs with 100% pure oxygen. But it's also important to know that you're going to have much less time in a patient who is pregnant, patient with any other cause of reduced functional residual capacity.